Hey y'all, this is Val and welcome to my art lounge. So today I am sharing my Michaels haul that I went on this morning. Man, every time go in there to get one thing, maybe two, and you come out with bags <laughs> and bags of stuff. But hey, that's what happens when you're a crafter, man. You see some things. I saw some really good deals and I just couldn't let them go. So my purpose for going in there today was to get some things to make some Easter cards or some springtime themed cards. And of course, when I walked in the door, the first thing that greets me is Easter crafting items were 50% off. All right, good to go. So I went, made a beeline for the display that they had right there in the front of the store. And I found these treat bags. And actually, I was actually looking for Easter stamps, things like bunny rabbits or Easter eggs, you know, stamps or dies like that. And I didn't find any. So when I went to the actual Easter display that they had in there with all the Easter home decor items, I found these treat bags. And I was looking, I was like, oh, these are cool. These will make great card fronts. I'll just put them on some head. I'll cut them and put them on some um, heavier white card stock. And Bob's your uncle. I got card fronts, right? But then I was looking at this one and I saw that this is an actual window. It wasn't just a, a bunny cutout. And I'm like, oh, I can turn it into a shaker. So you're gonna get tw I'm going to get 12 shaker cards and 12 Easter egg cards. And I'm going to make these like a flip. Uh, how do they call it again? A flip fold card, hopefully in the shape of an Easter egg or at least an oval. But I think I have an Easter egg die somewhere in here. I'll find it. And we're going to use to make these two interactive cards. You'll see a video on this later. Hopefully it'll work out. So these two guys started off and now I'm hunting to find um, card front paper or card based colored card stock to at least coordinate if not exactly match. I found this gorgeous blue because see look at it goes good together right? Of course they only had one left so I bought it and then but they also had some yellow and they had some pink. But I was looking, I was like, well, there's 12 in each of these. And I'm going to make all 12 of these cards. No, I'm not making any treats. Sorry. So I'm like, well, I need more. So I was able to find at least three yellow and three pink. That really went well. But I'm like, man, that's still not going to be enough. So they were also having a sale on their paper packs, card stock packs. Buy one, get one half off. So... I got this one for the pink and the blue. See? Pretty close. Pretty close. Close enough. Right? And if you put this next to it, pretty close. And then this one had some purple and some yellow in it. Right? So we got some yellow and we got some purple and even got a little orange that'll go with the orange right here. So I'm good. So two packs of paper. And I got all these colors, and of course I'm going to have some left over to do some more spring cards because look what else I found. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Look at this floral. It's gorgeous. This, again, will make some beautiful car uh, gift card sets. Okay, let me say that properly. A gift of greeting cards. A set of, a gift of greeting cards to give as a gift. And... So with this purple here, like all, you, you have all the colors that you need and I have plenty of heavy duty um, 100 pound card stock to make card bases to put these lovely card fronts on with some extra embellishment or what have you. And I thought I was getting it for $9.99. I was like, okay, I, you know what? I can deal. But when I ran it under their little price scanner, it came out to half price. Yay! And then... So now I'm heading over to the clearance bin because I'm like, dude, I'm already paying like kind of, you know, kind of full price for some things that I'm not supposed to be paying full price for. I only came in to get Easter. That's all I came in here for. That's all I came in here for. But let me see what's in the clearance bin, what the clearance bin had for me. And actually, I'm going to start with these because these is what I saw first. 
because hello, Easter colors. Thank you. So I got some pastel, some great washi tape, five bucks each roll. So that's 10 bucks right there. Oh, but wait a minute. I also happen to be a veteran. So I get another 15% off um, every day when I go shopping in there. So this ended up being like $4 and some change, like four eighty dollars something each. Then these were also in the clearance bin. And when I found this, this one, and you'll see another two that's under here, they were all in a bag together. And I'm like, why are they in a bag? And I flagged the lady down and she ran the price, price scan for me because all the rest of the paper packs in that bin were five bucks. But when she scanned these ones, they're only a dollar ninety nine. One ninety nine people. Awesome sauce. And look at this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like photorealism. Oh man, these are makes excellent, excellent wintry Christmas themed, masculine, whatever, rugged, awesome awesomeness. Awesomeness for that one. This one was also $1.99. Again, nice cool colors, a little bit more graphic. Got tags or I, you, you make these into like mini slim lines right here. Right? Some cool graphics. Again, different items. You can use it for masculine cards, some C, some starry nights kind of thing. So they don't just have to be for winter. If you got some men in your life, or young young gentlemen, have at it. So some serious Christmas cards. So this one's kind of beat up. So I got this one for one ninety nine as well. I think. Gotta check the receipt because a couple of them. Let me see. Yep. One ninety nine. Booyah! So this is more traditional Christmassy winter type stuff. Again, more graphic than realistic, but still make some great, great Christmas cards. Right on. And then this one was $1.99. Again, the more Nordic looking kind of Christmassy stuff. You know, I'm kind of trying to go through pretty fairly quickly here. You know. And then another $1.99. Christmassy. So this one's a little bit more whimsical. Some really cool. Ooh, those will make some great gift tags. I'm telling you. So as a crafter um, myself, I'm kind of coming into my own. I'm still feeling out what kind of crafter I am, what kind of things I like to make. I know that I like to make a lot of interactive. As you can see here right now, we got some awesomeness for the fall and some slightly non-traditional color screen but still really really beautiful right this one was five bucks so the rest of these yeah, the rest of these were five five dollars for a paper pad but when you look at this this is that's a this is a lot of bang for your buck for five bucks let's do some quick math here five I'm using my phone so whoops Ugh. So, 5 divided by 48, right? So that's 1. Dude, that's not even a dime per paper. What? 20? So that's 0. So like it's not even 11 cents. So it's like basically 10 cents a, pa a, a sheet. Now you like them apples, eh? Quick math, bro. Quick math. Oh, this one right here. Especially for those of us, <coughs> my bad, sorry, that are still thinking about the Ukraine and what's going on over there in, in Western, um, in Eastern Europe, sorry. The sunflower is the state flower for the Ukraine. So a lot of people have been making cards and sending them or just making cards in solidarity for them to show that we're thinking about them. So this would be a great paper pack to make some cards for the Ukraine. Here's a, or fall, you know, as well. Here's another fall one. That was another five bucks. Ooh, mushrooms. I haven't seen mushrooms in a while. 
You can do some great uh, wall decor art with these, some of these bigger pages. I am not a scrapbooker, so if, um, if I don't find a way to cut them down that I like, then I'll probably just do some wall decor with them. And then finally, this guy, I just thought that these were so stinking cute. I actually have a, um, a card kit from Paper Pumpkin and a, a couple of stamps that have these like cute little animals and food with the faces. The kawaii, as the Japanese would call it. Super cute to make some... <laughs> These are so stinking cute. You could make a nice birthday card with this as the background and whatnot. The strawberries, all these different foods with faces, some nice toast, big piece of toast, pizza, all these little fruits and everything. Blueberries, strawberry. Oh man, I have a strawberry punch too, bro. I got a strawberry punch, build a strawberry, there's a fire, I'm, I'm good to go. All that kind of stuff. And then I also got some staples. Now this is probably the most expensive thing out of this entire purchase that I made. And this is, they have, see this is new. This is a two inch wide foam tape. Okay. Two inch wide and you get four yards of this at two inches wide. So instead of having to do strips and strips and strips or cutting out a whole piece of foam board for your shaker cards or whatnot, you have some wider ones so you can get things done a lot quicker. And again, I used my, so this is like the most expensive thing I had in the, in the, in my whole haul today. And this one ended up, the regular price is $8.99 for this. And it ended up costing me like seven seventy something with my military discount. Actually, let me just put all of these guys boy, back this way. Okay, so there was that. Okay, and then more stuff in the scrap bin. This was a buck. I use elastics and rubber bands like this all the time. These were 20 cents a piece. Labels, hello. Get some white um, embossing powder. Do some white embossing, good to go. Or use a white chalk pen to write in there, or some nice labels, you never know. This is also in the clearance bin, dollar each. Again, in the Easter colors, that's what drew them to me. These will make great centers for your flowers or other little embellishments. If you wanna do like a, um, a kind of a, re a reveal wheel kind of deal or a pinwheel or something like that, something that spins, you can use these. These were, like I said, a buck each. This. Didn't even cost me 20 cents, I don't think. Is it 20 cents? 19 cents. 19 cents. Gotta love the clearance bin. If you don't mind digging it, uh, digging through a little bit, you'll come out with some really great stuff in there. This is another thing that ended up costing me full price, but I had to get it because they were all bunnies and flowers. So this will make great shaker filling for the shaker cards that I'm gonna make with those treat bags. And then finally, the last thing on my list was this really beautiful ornament, um, canvas ornament um, that you can paint yourself. And by the looks of this, this is gonna come out awesome. And I'll probably make a really nice card kit and put one of these as part um, with maybe some gift tags and make a really pretty gift set of cards and an ornament to give to some people. Handmade craft, friends. Handmade crafts. And that was my haul. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Maybe it'll give you some ideas. See if you can find some things the same or similar in your local stores. And have fun, man. When you see it, get it. Because especially these days, still things are kind of rocky. And creativity will kind of help give you some calm and some love. All right? See you next time, folks, and keep a lookout for some of the cards that I make with these awesome things that I got today at Michael's. Bye-bye.